It is blindingly obvious that Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman ordered the murder of journalist Jamal Khashoggi. That's the conclusion of a State Department official, official who's seen the CIA's assessment of the killing. U.S. senators want the findings to be made public. President Donald Trump, who's been reluctant to place blame, is due to receive the full report on the case later on Tuesday. Meanwhile, Saudi Arabia's foreign minister has rejected the findings, calling them baseless. Let's go to our correspondent, Kimberly Halkett. She is joining us live from Washington, D.C. Such strong words from this unnamed State Department official, Kimberly. What more can you tell us about this? I can tell you there's a lot of interest in what this unnamed State Department official is saying, and it increases the pressure on this White House that essentially has been struggling to come up with a response uh, for seven weeks now uh, since the death of Jamal Khashoggi, uh, since he be went missing. Uh, what we've seen from this president as of late over the weekend is this conclusion made public in, a, in what appears to be a coordinated leak uh, by the CIA, its assessment that, in fact, Mohammed bin Salman uh, was behind the killing was the one that ordered the killing. But we saw the president leaving open the possibility for some sort of alternate explanation, saying that it was really too premature to draw any conclusions, casting doubt on the assessment of his own intelligence agency. Uh, but now we're hearing from a State Department official who has seen this report, the anonymous official uh, speaking to one of the U.S. news networks here in the United States, saying, in fact, the conclusions of that report are blindingly obvious going further to say that no one in the government is debating or doubting that conclusion. Uh, and it, this individual cites the evidence of the CIA, essentially the communications that were intercepted uh, between the so-called kill team uh, and the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, not only after the killing, but prior to it. But, Kimberly, the top man in the government has been doubting the CIA's findings. And one of the reasons why President Trump has been so reluctant to place blame is um, because he says that the relationship with Saudi Arabia, the economic relationship, is so important to the U.S. And now we have another report that says that actually Saudi Arabia needs the U.S. more than Washington needs Saudi. Yeah, that's certainly the conclusion of the Center for International Policy, a think tank here in Washington that has really looked and has been tracking for years the number of jobs created, uh, the revenue created between the so-called strategic relationship between the United States and Saudi Arabia. One we should point out has been in place for decades. And Donald Trump has certainly underscored this as a priority when considering any sort of punitive measures uh, as a result of the killing of Jamal Khashoggi. Uh, he's both that, you know, we have to be mindful when calculating all of this, that there is a relationship that generates, in his view, some 600,000 jobs. But in fact, the report says that the jobs generated are more like 20,000 a year and that the revenue he boasted 110 billion is really more like 14.5 billion. This all comes down to the fact that Donald Trump uh, really speaks in very simplistic language. This is something that plays well for the soundbite. Uh, but the fact is that it is much more complicated than that. And what has been noted is that many of these jobs would be created inside Saudi Arabia as part of Mohammed bin Salman's vision 2030. So you're right. Yes, Saudi Arabia may need this relationship more than the United States. We should point out that their weapon systems are also made in the United States and replacing them would be very difficult. He certainly keeps the fact checkers busy. Kimberly, thank you very much for that for now. That is Kimberly Halkett live in Washington, D.C. Thank you.